Welcome back. So if you're caught up, you'll remember last episode we did Razorfin Crawl, and today's episode we're going to turn in the quests related to both. There's like two or three quests we have related to that instance. Uh, the first one here is Ald, Greetings. at Ald Stonespire, it's the Vengeful Fate. I think this was, um, hold on, let's find it. This is the quest we've had for a while, we've been carrying around, and I don't think there's anything we really want from this. The shield is definitely downgrade. The shoulders, I think, would upgrade. I think that's not I think about it. So I think we already have a pretty decent belt. It's better than this one, I would argue, or, or at least comparable enough. It's not really worth it. Oh, that has a lot more armor. Six strength, five stamina. We gain two strength, we lose two stamina, we lose four agility, we gain like a hundred and... 14 armor, that's pretty nice, but I kind of like these cloth shoulder pads more. 10 int, 5 stamina, 6 spirit. Um, we gain 2 spirit, 2 int, and 5 stamina. I think I prefer that. So let's get that. Alright, uh, shoulder pads. Swap these out. What do they look like? This are old set. Kind of okay. New set. Eh, I like them. Okay, so we turned in that, we got 3,250 experience, and then we also have another quest to turn in in Undercity, and then also in Undercity. Okay. The other thing I wanted to do was go back to Desolus to quest and wrap up these, which I think we'll still do soon. Before I do that, I wanted to... What Talk to a vendor. How may I eat? Repair. Let's see what we're going to get rid of. We couldn't. I don't think we want that. Ah, uh, we want that. <laughs> I can get rid of that ring. And the boar intestines, I think we can get rid of. That shield, we can get rid of. Shoulder pads. A small bat skull. Every tusk. Okay, I think that's it for stuff to get rid of for the moment. Oh no. Oh, whoops, this whole bag down here. Let's get rid of that, that. Four strength, three stamina. I don't think it's better than we have. No. Not necessarily. Six int, three spirit. No. I'm just comparing it to my caster set. Eight int, four spirit is an old one. I'm gonna be really lazy and just vendor that lock box. I don't feel like taking the time to even find someone to open it. That's super lazy, but. Uh, it's gonna have to be that way. What are we up to now? A little, about almost 12 gold. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I have a lot of, uh, I sent back some stuff for my bank characters. And also I was mining up some other stuff on my main, so I sent a little bit extra over. Uh, let's go to the bank, let's send... This, this, this... I think that's good for now, send this over too. Who just saluted me? I missed whoever that was. Iman. Thank you. That was nice. Got a nice little buff. Um, actually, you know what? Greetings. Alright, that's a hunter. That's a hunter. I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a mage, and in a portal under city, it's a hunter. It literally has a pet right next to it. I don't know why I thought that was... Oh, you know why I thought it was a mage? Because I got buffed with... I just clicked off that buff, that's really sad. I got buffed with a spirit buff, and in my mind, I was like, oh, that's a... That's not a spirit buff, that was a... Um, AI buff, it was actually a spirit buff. Uh, before we go any further, I wanted to find... I think this is the mining trainer. I think we might be able to learn a new... Hey. Something. There we go. So now we can actually max out mining, which is nice, I think. Mining supplier, and I think there's nothing else to oh, smelt. Nice. True silver thorium eventually. Okay. There's a little bit of gold to spend on that, but at least now we're ready to go in case we need to, um, in case we find enough stuff to skill up on. So at this point, I do want to go to Undercity. Um, There are no mages in Thunder Bluff. In fact, there's a bank character, a bank character, me, and the hunter. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Okay, so it's going to be a trek to get over there, but I think it's worth the effort at this point. Because we have two quests with two items in our bags, and I'd like to get those out of our bags. Best way to do that is to get over there. Um, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, there we go. I may be able to catch a ride in Orgrimmar, a port over. But to be honest, once you get to Orgrimmar, the trek to Undercity isn't that isn't that far. It's right. It's just run outside, get on the Zeppelin. So we'll see. Um, what else do I want to do? So we're gonna take care of that. Take care of that. Uh, oh, this is the yes, my dagger. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my shield and dagger combo I think for the time being while I'm out soloing the world the question is where do we go from here I was thinking of planning I was planning to go back to Desolus and wrap up these two quests um, this one's kind of fun and this one is an extended quest line but then I don't think we can do the elite quest I might try it for fun but I don't know if we can do it um, I don't know if we're able to do this or not. I'm gonna give it a shot, I think, though, for fun. Um, I really wanna do Maraudin eventually to get the Mark of the Chosen. That'll be really, really nice. This will get us to Razorfin Downs eventually. This is the end of that quest line. We have a lot we could do in Stranglethorn Vale. What I may do is go to Desolus to wrap up. Go to Desolus to wrap up the remainder of those two two or three quests if we can, and then make the trek back to Eastern Kingdoms and just do whatever we can in whoops, um, Eastern Kingdoms and do whatever we can Eastern Kingdom and do whatever we can in Stranglethorn Vale. Because we really look at this. I mean we basically went to Booty Bay. I think I how did I get to ground goal? I guess I Zeppelin over, right? Yeah, so I took a boat from Ratchet to Booty Bay, grabbed the flag point. Um, went to Grom Gold via Zeppelin. I eventually, I think I went up to um, Nessingwary and turned in a quick quest there. And I think we did the the quest over in Lake Nez Faridi for the, like the uh, the Goblin Engineer people. Um, but that was all for like the Thousand Needles Shimmering Flats quest. I think after that, we didn't do anything else in here. And there's just a ton we could do. Um, there's so much. Even at level 40, a lot of the stuff's still going to be green, maybe even yellow to us. Now they have a mount. We're higher level than most characters there. I'm tempted to go back in here and, and Shanglethorn Veil vale for a couple levels. It might be fun. That would set us up to probably move into... Uh, what am I thinking of? Maybe Blasted Lands are probably a little bit low for that. Um, Swamp of the Sorrows, we're kind of, maybe now's a good time to even go over there. It might be worth checking that out. So we might do Stranglethorn Veil, Swamp of Sorrows for a little bit. Um, Hinterlands, we could probably move into now. I think it's mostly it. Oh, Badlands, of course, right. Badlands might be nice. A lot of mineral nodes there. We do have one quest for Badlands anyway here. Uh, Martek the Exiled. I don't know, man. I'm tempted to do um, Stranglethorn Veil vale for a little bit and then go to Badlands. That might be the way to go. So all these mineral nodes that are showing up, I on my 60 druid, what I ended up doing is I was trying to get Finkel's Skinner. It's the Skinner that it's a, it's a dagger that drops from the Beast in Upper Blackrock Spire. And when it drops, you can you know if you get if you win it, it's a uh, plus 10 to skinning. Which means you can skin level... Um, uh, let me let me test real quick. Okay, when I buy a port do you see for 50 silver piece? I mean, or, um, so, it's... Um, oh, what was I saying? So the, the, the dagger is required to skin mobs that are level 62 or above. Um, if you have the plus five skinning and chain to your gloves. Um, thank you for such target. Zinge. There you go. All right, perfect. Uh, let's tip 50 silver, which I think it might cost 50 silver for the reagent. So at least breaks even, I think. It might be a gold, but I think it's 50 silver for the portal. 
I try to at least cover some of the cost. I mean, if I was higher level, I'd tip a gold. Um, uh, water would be great. Nice. So, uh, so he whispered me, said he, she whispered me, said she'd be willing to help me out, and then she offered uh, some food and or water. So that's perfect. Um, Excellent. So much water. Oh my gosh. Get the hookup now, folks. The hookup. I owe you one. Catch you later. That's cool. That was a hookup. Um, that's great. It's well worth 50 silver. Alright. Perfect. We are in shape now to do some things. All right, what else do I need to do? Um, that was really nice. I got the water we needed. All right, level 35 water, I'll take it. Okay, we got a ton of water, probably more than I'm gonna be using. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go talk to Verimothris, and who else do we need to talk to? Um, the Apothecarium. Okay, so that's actually all in the same, same spot. So we'll turn these two quests, and then let's go Do I go back to uh, Desolus now? I think I do. I think we do. I think we, we hearth back to Org and go to Desolus. I think that's the way to do it. I love this raptor, by the way. I'm really happy with this decision for this, this color raptor. It's the, uh, what is it? Emerald raptor. I, I think that was a wise choice. I think it looks great. Psyched about it. The only thing I would like to do eventually on this guy is grind up enough rune cloth to get Exalted with Torin and uh, with Thunderbluff and get a Kodo at level 60. I may not, I may hold off on buying the 60 mount until I get enough rune cloth for that. Um, we'll see. Oh, there's a quest over here. What is this? Well, let's turn this first. What do you require? Going, going, Guano. Ah, I see you have returned. Were you able to procure any crawl, Guano? We were. It's the start we needed. Um, what's 20 hearts of zeal? Where do we get these from? Are these from Scarlet Monastery? In the northeastern peak of the Tearswall Glades lies a Scarlet Monastery. There are the crazed disciples of the Scarlet Crusade congregate. Slay them and bring me their zealous hearts. Farewell. Okay, really? I don't know what this questline is. I now what is this? Take you. the purchase order to Alessandra Luca in the Undercity. Okay. Um, okay. I am such a researcher. I want you to take this purchase order to Alessandro Luca, the proprietor of the Blue Moon Odinant, to give you a testing kit. You have it, bring it back to me, and I'll outline your task in detail. Okay. I don't remember these quests. Interesting. There's a lot of cool quests down here. I think he's just upstairs. The, the quest giver is like across, which is like right over here, I think. I think. Unless I'm mistaken on that. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, looks like it. All right. Speak quickly. Errands, okay. Yeah, so what may I assist you with? All right, let's go through this. Ah, uh, Zinj needs a kit, does she? It saddens me that Zinj does not choose to grace myself with her sweet presence. The kit is ready. Bring the field sampling kit to Apothecary Zinj in the Undercity. Um. Beware. Okay. We got 10 reputation with the Undercity and 390 experience. We're doing a little bit of running back and forth here. Uh, it's okay. We eventually need to go just talk to um, Verimothris before we leave. We'll get there eventually. We're not going to level up this episode. I'm doing too much traveling and running around doing silly quests. The, uh, the only way to level up <laughs> is to actually gain experience at a decent rate, and this is not doing that. That's okay. Uh, yes, I think Luca is as disturbing as you do. Okay, good. It pleases me to be working with someone who takes pride in not wasting my time. After I make some adjustments to the kit, you'll be ready to head out into the field. You'll be using it to collect some vital data to the task at hand. It'll take just a moment. This isn't Teneris we go to. It'll take just a moment for me to finish the modifications. While you're waiting, you should probably start thinking about what you'd like to bring to the desert with you. Yes, I said the desert. I'll be headed to Teneris Desert, testing the tissue consistency of Basilisk, Scorpids. I've done this quest, and Hyenas, native there. 
eight samples of each. <clears throat> Alright, we have to get a power source from a goblin in uh, Tener in Gadgetzan, which is what the quest you know specifically tells us. I remember this quest because the kit itself requires the power source to use, and the power source expires after two hours, and I think it the time ticks even if you're offline. It's some really bizarre item like that. So <clears throat> we probably won't do this quest until we're planning to go to Teneris and we're high enough level that we can like chill. <clears throat> I think we're a little bit low for Teneris, is I guess what I'm saying. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait a little bit on it, but at some point we'll go do it. For now, we're down here to chat up our buddy Veramothris. Haven't seen him in a while. A might of a dreadlord. What business is it you wish to speak of, Supa? You must feel it is important to be continue to pester me. Small scroll, sure. I recognize the insignia on the scroll, Supa. You found this on that crone who reigns over Razor and Crawl. Interesting. The Scourge aren't content with one continent, it seems. The Ambassador Malson, the one who wrote the note, is one of the Scourge's plagued servants. A human diplomat to the kingdom of Lord around before things changed. The Scourge are trying to again to gain a foothold in Kalimdor, then it is up to us to, it is up to us to act. Um, okay, bring Melson's head. Okay. 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 We have to kill a guy outside of Razorfin Downs. We're gonna need probably help to do this. We would get mostly junk, honestly. None of this is any good for us. It's pretty weak gear. I don't think we can solo this. I think it requires a group. Maybe. Because it is outside, we might be able to do this. Um, Alright, so I think we're done in Undercity. What I'm going to do very quickly... Um, I want to see if this is something we could solo. Holy Alliance Classic. Because if it is, I'm tempted to go over there and just do it. Um, on the way down to Desolus. Let's see what, the, what Wowhead says for us. That's what I always kind of base it on. And I think we're done here, right? I just want to double check another quest. I'm not going to go to Scarlet Monastery right now. Yeah, I think we're good to roll out of here. Let's go back to or Huh. All right, let's get moving. And then did we get anything we wanted to? Yeah, okay. Let's get moving up there. I don't know if we can solve him or not. I'm gonna see what level he is. Um, get the head, it drops from, who does it drop from? Dropped by Ambassador Malson, level 36 elite. We might be able to solo this. Maybe. It depends if there's other ads, and there probably are. It's gonna make it a little tough, but I might give it a shot. Just for fun. Sometimes it's fun to do kind of... Let's say overly difficult quests. So if we do this, how does this work? Oops, that's not what I wanted. If we do this... I'm having trouble with the map, okay. I would fly to Camp Taraho, run all the way down here. Eh. I might skip out on this for now. Let's go finish up our days. Oh, Let's... I don't know where we at. Tesla's. Alright. Well, I'm gonna speed up the video for this flight, play a little bit of music. I haven't done that in a while, been wanting to do it. Uh, we will be back in just a minute. Enjoy the flight, enjoy the music, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but Panda Cub is a beast. It's so much fun watching him just like run the entire way along there. Uh, I find it really funny. So, okay, I, I really was very amused by that. Um, let's see if we have anyone that wants to do this quest real quick. Uh, anyone for Kanharatha Elite? I don't even know if anyone's in the zone a few people. They're probably all just farming up the stupid things off the shoreline here. Um, let's see if we can get anyone else who wants help. If we get one person, we'll be in really good shape. I'm going to try to solo it now, though, because we're right here. So I'm just going to go over here and try to do it. I'm not wildly optimistic about this. We've got some heal potions, mana potions. Uh, I can reincarnate, which I don't know if it resets. If I die, I don't know if the event re resets or not. I don't think it does. Um... And we've got, um, or just, or and, just, uh, and we've got, um, beverages, so we can drink in between waves of mobs, I think. So we're gonna give it a shot, see if we can solo it. I mean, it'd be fun to try, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not wildly optimistic. Um, what's my engineering skill at? And what, what kind of fun stuff can I make from engineering? 189, and I still need to make mainly, I think, I was still planning to make more solid blasting powder. Make it more solid stone. I think it's why I've held up on upgrading engineering recently. So, as I recall, I need... I need to kill the random centaur around here to get the mouthpiece. And then once I get the mouthpiece, I can blow this horn up here. So, let's, I guess, start killing these guys. Okay. I'm guessing it'll drop pretty fast. I think it's a pretty quick drop rate. The good news is, most of these models will give us experience, so... We're not just wasting our time out here, at least. Uh, no. I'll just... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clear this area out as best I can, uh, because I need to make some space anyway for up here so I don't aggro these mobs as we're fighting our big bad guy and all of his waves of mobs. The way the quest works is, I think, the horn you can s uh, I don't see, it's right up here, I think. Blow the horn, and we're gonna get like waves of like two or three mobs at a time coming up here, which is gonna be the tough part. If we can survive all those waves, we will then face Khan Haratha himself, who is not nearly as beefy. Uh, he's an elite mob, but he's not really a problem, I think. It's just the waves of mobs that are going to be problematic. I'm going to probably be using my Taunt Totem liberally, try and keep damage off me as much as possible. Um, that'll give me half of the, you know, if it lasts for 15 seconds, 30 second cooldown. If it doesn't die in that 15 seconds, it takes Quite a bit of damage off me. Ah, uh, nice, another healing potion. Add it to our stacks. What's the best potions we have? This is actually my best potion. Let's put that here. And that's my best mana potion. Okay. Um. I could have sworn the thing I need to summon him with is here, but I don't see it now, so. Alright, well, either way, we need to keep killing mobs so we get the mouthpiece, so. Keep this going for a bit. Um, most of these guys are really... We're such high level now. I'm hoping that the waves and mobs aren't that bad. They might not be. Because we're kind of high level. It might not be too bad for us. It'd be nice if we could start this fight before this arcane intellect disappears. 
because the extra mana is going to help us a lot, but my suspicion is that we're going to run out before uh, the mouthpiece is here, unfortunately. We'll see. I haven't used Storm Strike really much. It just uses so much mana. I've been kind of hesitant to use it. I should probably get in the habit of using it when I have mana to spare, but I've been a little bit hesitant. Nope. Um. Am I in the wrong spot? <clears throat> in the Valley of Spears. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong spot. Because I didn't see the horn up there, and this makes me think this is in the Valley of Spears. Uh, I'm going to double check that while I'm killing those mobs. Because I feel a little bit like it's just slightly off. Um... It isn't, I don't know, something feels kind of wrong to me about this quest right now. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure why that is. Usually I have a pretty good memory of this, of all these quests. Um, but occasionally I mess up. Just taking his time. Comments. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. I'm just double checking. Twenty nine fifty three is where the horns at. Whoa! Hold on, that's way different than what I thought. Am I in a completely wrong spot here? Oh, you know what? I am in the wrong spot. The Maradine centaurs are these over here. Okay. I, yep, I completely misremembered this quest. I was, I was kind of thinking about that. It said, um, <clears throat> the Maradine centaurs. And I was like, okay. Like, Marauden's over there, and but I don't think that's it. And then, yeah. Okay. There's a mithril deposit up there. Dang it. Can I get up there from this side? I think I have to go up the ramp to get up there. Oh boy. Um, Stone Cloud Totem, go. Good job, good job. I would like that Mithril Deposit, but I don't really know if I feel like dealing with it. Probably should not aggro all these mobs. <laughs> I'm literally just running right through everything. Uh, as if that's the way to avoid taking damage. Um, once you get out of combat, I'll mount up. It's gonna be a moment. Okay, well, I was in the wrong spot. That's good to know. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about being able to do this quest now. We'll see. So I haven't been over to Maraudin yet on this character or my druid. I just, I tend to miss out on it a lot. I don't know if I remember how to get there. I think you can get up through here. I think there's a, a route right in this part of the through the mountains. So I'm gonna kind of hug the mountains here. Maybe it's right in front of me even. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm gonna try and get up there. I don't know, we'll see. This might be a mistake trying to do this quest solo, but it'd be kind of fun. All right. I think, yeah. This looks like a path through here. Maybe. Over there, yep, perfect, okay. This definitely works. I read that one of the, the last waves is like an elite and three of his buddies, so I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see. Iron deposit. That still can give me a skill up, right? Yeah, we're going to have to nab that. I can't ignore anything. I mean, I ignored the mithril because it's kind of out of the way, but for the most part, I needed to go for these things. I'm going to try and de-aggro, leash that uh, centaur. He's not going to leash. Oh, he did. Perfect. I really thought he was going to run up on us. It's a green... Node, it's still a decent chance of a skill up. It's not impossible, I should say. So, we gotta go for him. Uh, oh man, so my university is basically shutting down the, re the university I do all my research at. Um, all classes basically are canceled for the remainder of the semester. They're like online only. And it looks like... Um, 
even research activities may be getting shut down, which would that aren't viral researchers. Like I study, you know, I need to kill these mobs anyway. I study bacteria, um, not viruses. So like my research isn't going to help the COVID-19 infection research at all. So I will probably be told to stay home soon. We're, we're not sure yet. It's still, they're putting out guidances, encouraging people to, uh, stay home as much as reasonably possible. But I don't know. Um, of right now, as of now, I'm, I'm going to work later today. Today is the Monday, the 16th, and I plan to go to work. Uh, we got some experiments I wanted to run today, but we're all meeting. Like my lab is meeting. We're gonna discuss how to proceed. I think we're just gonna make sure we set up for critical things. That there's always someone around to take care of those things. Uh, maybe one person a day will come in and handle some critical stuff, and then we'll everyone else will stay home. I don't know. It's my guess. Um, by critical things, what I mean is we have certain things, we have like containers of liquid nitrogen that we have to refill every few weeks. Um, those hold a lot of our cell cultures. And so like those things, I may, like I'm usually in charge of that. So I might be the one that comes in once every few weeks to fill that up if we're gone for more than a few weeks. Depends how fast things settle out. Um, I saw many states are starting to ban groupings of more than 100 people. 500 people, whatever. A lot of states are starting to ban restaurants from being open in the lobby area. Um, so it's a lot of things going on that people are moving towards trying to contain the spread of the virus, which is good, I think. I see the downside, though, is I, I really do worry about people that are what I would consider to be the most economically uh, vulnerable. Uh, Low-income families, people that, you know, students, or whatever, people that work at as, as a host or as a waiter, um, as a busboy, that kind of stuff. They're going to be losing probably a lot of money. They're going to probably transition into delivery roles or takeout assistance roles as much as possible, but it's overall... Uh, I do worry about those people. At the same time, I think it's the right choice to... Uh, I think it's the right choice to proceed as they are doing here. Um, I don't really know where this quest goes. Like, I don't know exactly the, the highest bluff, or the highest points, what it said. That's the entrance to Maradon there. Marden? Is that what he said? I said Maradon, but I've heard it go say Marden. Maradon? I don't know. Sweet nectar. Sweet. Uh, that looks like the point I need to get to. Maybe? Oh wow, there's mineral nodes over here that I'm running right by, sweet. I, uh, there's a mithril back, let's get that. I'm trying to see if I can get up to this somehow. This looks like the horn is up there, I think that's it. I don't know how to get there though. It must be a ramp on the other side, or like a bridge on the other side that I'm not seeing from here. That definitely is the mouth, the horn that I'm looking for. Um, before I pull Khan Haratha, or start the event, I'm gonna check one more time in, uh, general chat, see if anyone wants to join me for the quest. That'll be why I figured the mouthpiece. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna keep mining. Uh, oh, so I was talking earlier about I dropped skinning. I've, I don't think I finished it, so I dropped skinning on my druid, because I was trying to get Finkel Skinner. It's the skinning piece that comes from the beast in Upper Black Rock Spire. I've ran probably 20-something Upper Black Rock Spire since the game launched on my Druid, I've never seen Finkel Skinner drop. It's like a 25% drop rate, I think. It's 15 to 33%. It's not low, in my opinion, but I've done it about 20 times and I haven't seen it drop. The most recent time, it didn't drop, but an Ace of Beasts dropped, and I won the roll on it, and I sold it for a thousand gold, because it's not, in my opinion, it's not amazing for Druids. It's not bad as a trinket, but I really think Druids benefit more by stacking plus healing than stacking mana regen. So I sold it for a thousand gold and I spent the money, a little bit of it, buying a warden staff for my druid and getting an enchanted with plus 15 agility. As I, So now I can tank a little bit better on my druid. Um, I like tanking, off tanking a lot when I can. So I haven't tanked in raids, but I like tanking in, uh, in like five mans. Um, so I got the warden staff, which is 
one of the best threat mitigating weapons in the game for druids. It's pretty much the best threat mitigation weapon, uh, or damage mitigation weapon. It's not the best threat generating weapon, that would be the manual crowd pummeler, and it's on use ability, but it is a great threat mitigation. Um, or damage mitigation. So, yes, yeah, so I sold a little bit of those profits to buy a warden staff for like 375 gold, which I think they go for 350 to 450 on the server, so it's not awful. Um, I was pretty psyched about that. And then the other thing, um, but so I got so sick, so I got the Ace of Beasts, which is amazing. But I was like, man, I got the Ace of Beasts, Finkles isn't dropping, I'm sick of it. I got rid of skinning, I just completely got rid of skinning. I haven't been using it much anyway, and I trained to mining. And now my plan is to use mining and herbalism on my druid. Like literally two gathering, excuse me, two gathering professions for the sake of just making a bunch of money. All right, this is the place we need to be, which is perfect. Um, but we need to go get our uh, mouthpiece still. I guess we can just keep killing centaur until we get the mouthpiece, right? I don't know what else to do, that's the plan. If it ever drops this episode, if it drops kind of late in the episode, I might just stop for today and come back, we'll load up here next time and keep going. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I dropped skinning, picked up mining in my druid, and I've skilled up mining in about four days on and off playing. I brought my laptop home from work because I've been working from home a bit, and there's some software I have on my laptop that I like to use that isn't on my desktop, and I don't want to pay for another license. Um... Got the mouthpiece. Okay, uh, let's see. Anyone else for... Whoops, that's the wrong quest. For... I've got the mouthpiece. I'm ready to start the event. Um, so... Let's rebuff. Uh, so I got mining up in about four days, especially I was just playing on my laptop a bit, so I was like sitting in the living room, my wife's like doing some um, some cross-stitching, and we were just kind of chatting and hanging out, and I was just kind of mindlessly mining. I got up to about 250 skills, so I'm almost, almost up to Rich Thorium Vein, which is 275. Uh, I've got the plus five mining enchant gloves, which helps too. Um, Alright, pretty psyched about this, let's give this a shot. Call of the Raptor, plus 12 agility, let's use it. Alright, um, but yeah, so I've, I've got mining on my druid, so I've sent some extra mining materials over to this guy for uh, the fun of um, improving my... Let's get the camera right, how do I want this? This looks good to me. Uh, f for improving engineering, so I can use some of those mining resources on this guy, which is kind of nice. Alright, folks. Okay, I think I'm ready. Ooh, what I actually want here is... This, this one, there we go. I'm just gonna burn through some of my cooldowns on these guys, and my mana. So I think if I can clear them fast enough, I can sit and drink anyway. So it's, like, more than fine to just like nuke them as fast as possible. I've got some decent water from that mage, which is actually really, really gonna be critical here. Should've gotten some food from him too. I didn't think about that. That was a mistake. Maybe I should've bought that. Or asked him for it. All right, I can drink a little bit, but it's not gonna be great, unfortunately. Well, not awful. I, I burned through basically all my mana, and I'm going to be able to replenish two-thirds of it, it looks like, in this time. So that's not terrible. Okay. Oh, there's three of them. That's scary. Um, hold on a sec. So what I want to do... Drop a Stone Claw Totem. Oh no, oh that's bad, that guy heals, that's really bad, I didn't realize that. Okay, that's a problem for me, isn't it? Let's 
get back to killing this one. Do they interrupt heals? That'd be really bad if they bash. Okay, they don't do a bash type of thing at least. That's good. That'd have been really, really scary. <laughs> to say the least. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I guess I should be as far back as I can possibly be. Do I have any food? No, I'm gonna have to bandage. As soon as this guy's dead, I'm gonna bandage. And then drink. Four of them, oh my god. That's the one I need to kill. Okay. Oh, good. Good. I want to get fully drank up, at least. Drunk up. Okay, this could have been worse. I'm going to Stone Cloud Totem once I get up. I need to rebuff that. Very drink. I'm going to have to kill the stupid advisor, I think, first. I think it's got to die first, right? Because if it's our healing, it's going to be a problem for me. Okay, um... Earthbind Totem is go. I'm dead. <sighs> Can I reincarnate safely here? Maybe. Let's see if this works. How close they get to me up here. Alright, can this can I make this happen? I have a vision here. If they don't despawn too fast, <clears throat> do I just kite this guy? Or do I kill his buddies and come back if I die again? Um Alright. Let's do this. Let's do. Should have waited till my uh, mana potion refreshed. Oh boy, it's bad. Oh, I'm dead. <clears throat> okay, I don't, that was not the best decision. I don't know if I can do this. Um, it's possible at this point I could. I messed up kind of there. I had a plan. I forgot that Ghost Wolf is an instant cast. Um, I'm tempted now to just try and burn down Khan Haratha. Like, drop a stone claw, focus, if he's still there, if he doesn't, I think he might stick around. My plan is to go back and stone claw totem, like, totem up out, like, outside of where I died, pull them, pull aggro off the main guy, or pull aggro from the main guy, and just try to burn him down. My potions will be refreshed by then, and then use stone claw to stall up the other guy, to, like, to buy 15 seconds of time from the other one, and then, so I'm only facing the 42 elite. And then maybe Earthbind Kite a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work. They might despawn anyway. Um, I, a 42 elite's a little bit tough for me, as is, to be honest. With an add, I could probably solo them, but with an add, it's a lot tougher. Um, they don't really do anything that a lot of my totems don't help with. Like Wind Wall Totem won't help, Poison Cleansing Totems won't help. They don't stun. 
Um, so mainly for me, I think what I should be doing is just, just going all out, trying to burn that guy down. I'll use another call the raptor on myself, I think. Um, yeah. I'm going to try and fight down the hill. Like, so what I'm going to do is stone claw totem, let that other guy get aggro, and then I'm going to try to run away down the hill and pull with me the, um... Kanharatha himself. So then when my Stone Cloud Totem is destroyed or despawns, I'll hopefully add another 10 or 15 seconds of time before the ad gets up on me. Um, if assuming these guys are still up there, I think that might be a good idea. That might work. Kind of run them down here. Assuming the things down here didn't respawn yet, which they might have, which would be a problem. Um, but I think there should be a way to kite on the ramp pretty well. I think if I jump off the ramp <clears throat> and then heal up a little bit, that might be functional. Okay, cool. So there's me. I'm going to drink up while I mark both of them. Let's rebuff, rebuff. Let's um, do a quick heal. <clears throat> so we're not doing awful. As long as I don't despawn on me here, I'm not in terrible shape. I should be able to maybe make something happen. We'll see. Call of the Raptor is a good time to use this for sure. Alright, let's tone him up. Let's pull our buddy Khan Haratha. Pull him again. Drop a stone claw. Alright, this is exactly what I needed to have happen. All good so far. I guess a good time is I need to storm strike him. Drop an earth bind back there. Um, let's use a mana potion. Oh boy, the respawns are coming. It's really bad for me. That's really bad. I can't do this. I don't think I can do this. I maybe I should use a heal. I don't know. I don't think I can do this. I'm gonna need some help. Uh, anyone mind helping real quick with Con Conrath? Uh, I need about two minutes of your time, assuming you're close. Let's see, I don't know, Desolus. Uh, yeah, I just can't quite do it. I think he just hits me a little bit too hard. I don't, and I think I have to kind of burn my mana to kill him. I think if I try to... I think if I save my mana... I don't know how long he stays spawned up there. I might... I might go and try to kill the adds that are respawning now, and then if he's still there, kill the ad that he's with, and then if I die again, I can just 1v1 him. Because I'm wondering if if I have just him to deal with, if I can outheal his damage. I don't know if that's going to be possible. But I wonder if it's possible. Hey, right, does that make sense? Like, I was thinking I had to burn them down because I didn't want the ad to be hitting me at the same time, too. But if I kill the ad, <clears throat> then maybe I lower their DPS enough to make this work. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other skills that I'm forgetting that would be useful. I think Earthbind Kiting could be valuable. I don't think any of my other weapon enchants are necessarily better than what I have. Um, I think I think I'm using all the skills I should be using for this. I'm guessing he's going to despawn though soon. I can't imagine he sticks sticks around for too long. Where did I die at? Up here. Yeah. But he's still there for now. So that's good. Let's go kill this mob real fast. Start clearing out this path. 
Um, probably take us a couple minutes to kill these guys and then heal up and everything. So I'll do that and then we'll move along. But yeah, I'm guessing he's gonna despawn soon. Let's do this. Okay, I already got that on my hop I didn't pay attention. I forgot to put it down there earlier, I think. Yeah, let's mana up, kill these two, and then I think I'm just gonna burn down the ad. And then if I die, I die, you know? It's like, at least I'll be ready for if I can get up here again. I'm surprised he didn't despawn the first time, to be entirely honest. So it's kind of neat seeing that's the case, that they don't despawn automatically. I just sort of thought when I died, like when I go into combat, that you would, that they would despawn, but obviously not the case. Oh, resist, gross. Yeah, so we'll kill these two, then we'll go kill the Ad, and then I'll probably die, and then I'll, um, fight Khan Haratha 1v1. That might be possible. I think I could do that. He does hit hard, but I think if I think about my strategy a little bit, it might be feasible. What I'm really thinking I'm gonna do is jump down here and get a heal off without him hitting me. We go a long way. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to think of any other strategies I can use. I think this ramp might be valuable. I just jump off here. Heal, Earthbind, run back up. Ghost Wolf and run back up. Something like that. I don't know. Um, there's got to be something I can do. So I'm going to just burn down his buddy. And to do that, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this. I will give this an attempt anyway for a full kill. I'm going to like heal up and everything, but I'm not going to use my call the raptor on this guy, this attempt. And then I'm going to stone claw. And the plan is, how many hits can my stone claw take? <laughs> like two, okay. Not great, not great. That's fine. Alright. Let's get back over here my other totems. Let's give myself a heal. How much is heal for? It's almost a full heal. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if Totem will pull him off me. No, probably not. That's fine. Probably a mistake to waste the mana on that. Pop a heal potion here. Yeah, the problem is he has a lot of health. Mana spring might be nice. And so it's like he's actually gonna slowly just wear me down. I don't have a stun. That's what I really need. Something to stun him with would be really, really nice. Okay. But maybe not now that I'm not dealing with the ad at all, I might be able to do this. Maybe. I can almost tank him and out heal him. Like it's pretty close, right? It's like, oh, he's, ah, the daze, that was really bad. I'm gonna die from this fall. Whoops. Okay, I might be able to do this. If I don't burn all my mana, I almost wonder if I can just tank him down. Um. I think it's more valuable to use... Okay, so this gives me, let's say, about 500 health, and this gives me about 300 mana, which gives me more health by the time I use the heal, but it requires me to stop DPSing. So I think the health potion is better overall. I might be able to do this. It's, it might be doable. It's cutting it a little close, I think. What am I missing? Like, what else could I do? I don't really have any other gear. I don't really have any I'm Maybe healing stream's nice for fight this long. Is that better than, than the mana stream? Um, heals for 10 every two seconds for one minute. Is that better than six mana? I think... I 
I think Mana Spring is better in this fight. So six mana every two seconds. So that's three mana per second for a minute versus three mana per second for a minute um, versus five health. It's pretty similar. Maybe Healing Stream is better though, because if I have to use mana to heal, to cast the heal, that means I'm not DPSing. And so Mana Spring gives me more mana to heal, but Heal Spring avoids me having to deal with casting at all. So maybe I should Heal Spring on this. I think that's a better one, I think. The Taunt Totem is pointless at this point. There's really no benefit to it. And Earthbind is only nice if I'm running away to try to bandage. Which might have a place. Oh, did he despawn? Oh, that's a bummer. I don't think I want to do this again. I don't think I can. Um, it was cutting it real close anyway. But it, it is nice to know. I could come back at a later level and try this. Do I have the mouthpiece or do I use it up? No. So, that's kind of a bummer. I'm sad he despawned. I, was gonna, I really thought I had a good shot. What I should have done is on that attempt where I went up there and try to kill him and his one ad, or kill his one ad and then kill him and uh, like dodge his ad, I should have just killed the ad that time, and then I would have had one or two, I would have had, I would have had at least one good attempt um, on him without, uh, oh boy, am I gonna die here? Um, I would have had at least one good attempt on him. Oh my gosh, the dazing. It's so annoying. <laughs> um, if I had just killed the ad instead of trying to do the attempt where I, like, had my totem tank the ad, I probably could have gotten a good, good attempt on him without, um, like, one clean shot at him without an ad. So I kind of... I just thought he was going to despawn, you know, so I was kind of thinking I just need to go for it. Um, but now I see it, you've got it, you can probably run back like three times. And yeah, I mean, it's good to keep that in mind at least. The other thing is, if I die, do my totems despawn? I never really paid attention to that. I think they stay alive, right? I think they just, they despawn based on the timer. These mobs really chase for a while. All right, that was that was a painful. That was a rough, like twenty minutes there. That was not the most efficient thing I ever done in this character. Um, all right, well I'll tell you what. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna rebuff completely. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. And I, th I find myself getting a little sick of <laughs> Desolus. <laughs> I'm like thinking about. It, I'm like ooh. Desolus, I loved, I had my fun here, but now it's, I'm hitting those last few drops of quests that are just a little bit gross. Um, I'm going to go do the Ghost of Plasm Roundup. We'll do that for sure. I don't know if I'll do it today, but we'll do that for sure. The Corruptor quest is so annoying. He has to kill a lot of oracles sometimes, and I'm not super excited for that, but I might go for it. Um, I'll quickly uh, thank my Patreon supporters, all of my Patreon supporters, especially Timothy B, Luke D, and Chris S. So I always appreciate everyone's support along the way for this series and my other videos that I make here and there. Um, it, it's sincerely appreciated, so thank you for that. Uh, what, I, what I think I might do is... I'm kind of getting in position to Ghost of Plasm, but I think I'm going to just like log out down there. I think it takes a little bit of time to do the Ghost of Plasm roundup, and um, we've already been playing for about an hour, so I think I will just move down in this position, log out there, then I'll know next time we'll start there, we'll get that done, and I might go do the Corruptor. It feels kind of nice to sort of wrap up most of the quests here, so I may go do the Corruptor quest too. Which leads to another quest. It's an elite quest. I don't think I can do solo either, but I'm able to find a group for one or both of those. And then, um, I think we're going to move to Stranglethorn Vale after this. At some point soon, uh, in the next couple episodes, I think we'll move to Stranglethorn Vale. I'm excited to kind of check that out. I'm just kind of deciding also what I want to scale up in talents from now on. 
I think I want to go into elemental, like do kind of an enhancement elemental spec. There's some things here I wouldn't mind getting more points in. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't have minded respecing and move all of ancestral knowledge into a shield spec. But I think for the most part, what I'm probably going to want to do is move into elemental and start like reducing the costs on my spells. Um, is this the Valley of Bones? This looks like it. I think this is it. I think it's the Valley of Bones. But I think what I need is... What level are these mobs? 38? They're kind of beefy, but they're not a big problem for us. There is grave moss in this sometimes. I don't see any at the moment, but there's sometimes grave moss around here. I'd love to not aggro every mob here. Outcast Necromancer. Right, we're going to run to this side. I think this is where I need to drop my Ghost of Plasm. But I'm going to just... There's not a lot of skeleton mobs in the open world, to be honest. This is like the only spot I know of that is open... That is this specific size of skeleton mob. There's some over in the Plague Lands, but for the most part... It's kind of where you need to be. So let's just see what happens when I do this. I don't know if it spawns mobs or what. I don't. I haven't done this quest in a very long time. Oh, hey, look. That's cool. So it summons these Magrami specters that we um. Well, that's a nasty curse. The heck? You're a bully. See that curse? That guy dropped on me. 15 minute long curse. Physical magic damage taken is increased by 15%. Like, what the heck? That's gross. Uh, seriously, that's one of the worst curse I've ever seen. Curse the Fallen Magrum. Well, you know what? Now that I'm here and I'm seeing how relatively easy this quest is, why not just do it, right? I'm gonna probably pull both these stupid things. I'm gonna use a little baby mana potion. Um, time between attacks increased by 43%. Whoa! This whole area. No respect. <laughs> There's a lot of gross stuff they cast in here. Um, I can't decurse either. Uh, druids can decurse. Priests can decurse, right? I don't remember if priests can decurse. What is that? Why are some of them green and some of them aren't? I guess it's red. I don't know. It's weird. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go. Oh, resist. Yuck. They resisted my frost shocks. That's no fun. Alright, another one dead. Let's bandage, and then I'm gonna drink. Yeah, let's go ahead and just finish off this quest. We're here. It's easy enough. I, I thought it was gonna take longer for some reason. I didn't think the drop rate was 100%. I thought it was lower, and I didn't feel like spending the time on it, but... I see now the drop rate seems to be 100%, so I don't want to pull all these, though, at once. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of mobs to pull at one time, so let's uh, chill on the congregating, guys. It's, there's a quarantine, I don't know if you're aware. Social distancing. What? Invalid target? The heck? Oh my gosh. Apparently that thing just like summons all of them. It like, pulls them all together. Uh, where's my stone skin totem? All right, well, screw it. Here we go. Yellow. All right, we pulled three. That's okay. It could have been way worse. I thought we were gonna pull five. I was like, oh god. Here we go. No, that's not, not so bad. We're fine. I got my mana spring, got my little searing totem. We got my stone skin, which is blocking some damage, which is nice. Um, let's do this. Get a mana spring. Uh, we probably will be about done if we kill these. There's like three of them here. I think we clear these three. 
and we'll um, have like one more to do. I'm, like, I'm gonna drop another one of those things. Looks like it despawned, but not a big deal. Yeah, so it goes to the plasma quest. <laughs> huh, sure. I didn't mean to really do this right now, but I wasn't really necessarily planning to finish it, but why not? Okay, loot up. One, two, a three. A three. A three licks to get the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. I used to love that commercial. I, even when I saw that commercial, it was super old when I was a kid. It's like a... If you've never seen this commercial, it's, it was in the US at least. It was like a little... It's like hand animated. There's like a little kid. And he's like, Mr. Owl. He's talking to an owl. Like literally, just an owl. He's like, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? And the owl says, well, let's find out. And he like licks it once. Licks it twice, and he goes, a one, licks, a two, licks, a three, and then he bites it. And uh, then, like, a narrator, I think, says, the world may never know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. I think someone has since done the math. A kind of, kind of a cute commercial, in my opinion. It's stuck with memory, obviously, so it must have been decent. But, yeah, just kind of cute commercial. I don't really like Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pops that much, by the way. I think having like a piece of Tootsie Roll chocolate... I, do I wanna... hold on. Um, let's go turn this quest in. This is a longer episode than I intended. I think the turn in for this is over here. In the, in the horn is from Buzzle, if I remember right. Um, I wanna double check that before I go the wrong way. Horn is... Horn is... Room puzzle. Whoops, run the wrong way. Um, so I prefer. <laughs> they're called. Uh, they're the same company that makes Tootsie Rolls, but they're called Tootsie Roll Blow Pops, I think. And they have like bubble gum in the middle of the of the sucker. Those are really good. Those are my favorite by far. Um, I loved those as a kid. Just like you chew through it eat the candy, the hard candy outside, and then you've got like this really good tasting gum that only tastes good for a few minutes, but it's so good. I love that stuff as a kid. Also, I'm really disappointed I can't kill 42 Elite on my own. It makes me really sad. I really thought I could do it. And I'm like decently well geared. I'm not trash geared. Maybe if I was in full male gear instead of leather, that would have helped. I mean, I'm, it, I'm sure it would have helped if I had Equivalent stats, but male gear. I'm going the wrong way. Um, and I go like do uh, like eleven o'clock over here. Um, maybe that that would have helped it. But I'm pretty well geared, and I don't think I'm totally awful at being. Oh, the caravan ran on its own. Good job, caravan. I don't think I'm totally awful at playing shaman. Uh, let's go do this turn in for the ghostoplasm. We've got enough rested XP. I'm not gonna bother hearthing back to org or running to. Shadow Prey Village. I'm just gonna log out here, and then we'll go do the Oracle quest next time, and then unless we can find someone next episode also for Khan Haratha, we will call it a day on Desolus, which is fine with me. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's get a little screenshot, although we took some earlier with the panda running around. Let's turn in our Ghost of Plasm Roundup. I don't think there's a follow-up to this we found Hornis Brimbuzzle here. So for those wondering where he was at, if you were not watching, he's at 4862. He's like west, southwest around the rim of the Coder Graveyard. Both these are not upgrades for us, so we're just going to get the most valuable one and vendor it. There it is. Looks like you got some of it on you too. Kind of slimy. Eh? Well, thanks a lot for all the trouble, Supa. This stuff will be worth a fortune if I convince the centaurs what it is. Yeah. So let's log out here. Um, I'm pretty happy at this location. It's, it's close to the oracles we're going to kill, so... Um, and that'll be our last, probably last quest. I think a follow-up to that's an elite quest. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.